There are now more than 200 OTT services in the US, accounting for 150 million subscribers. According to Ovum, the number of OTT subscribers is set to hit more than 210 million by 2022. But what are the opportunities and challenges of OTT and can this growth continue? With OTT, if I have content, I can become a broadcaster, I can become a service provider, so I can go direct to consumers, but at the same time, it's not easy to do it. So everybody's looking at their business model saying, what can I do? You know, there will probably be a lot of players out there. The question is who is actually charging for it and how much money will they make? The low barrier to entry makes it attractive to players beyond traditional broadcasters. This has created a fiercely competitive market. I think we're going to see big new players, both actually the big content owners doing their direct-to-consumer uh, delivery uh, for their own content on a global scale. And of course we have the big social players like, uh, like Facebook, uh, YouTube and, and Amazon uh, that goes into this as well. And I'm sure they have the money to, to bring on the, the expensive uh, and the, the, the tier one content. The war for market share is being fought on a battlefield of content. The casualties are players that can't afford the spiralling cost of that content. But will this lead to a contraction in the number of OTT players out there? The leaders in seem to think so. Generally speaking, I see that there will probably be less um, because of the prohibitive nature of content rights and also with the fact that you have big ones, they're also driving up the cost of the content. It's not going down, actually going up for premium content. If you're small, it's difficult to leverage content rights, costs and so on, especially if you are offering a consumer service. One tactic is to avoid the battle altogether. Many players are carving out niches in areas that are uneconomical for the likes of Netflix and Amazon. One gap is local programming and niche sports. And there's always uh, a need and a niche for local content, both when it comes to sports, but also for local series and, and local uh, news and, and their own contents. Of course, if you, you have your own kind of programming that you produce yourself, then you could have those type of services. And there's also with OTT, it opens up for more niche content. But just because they are niche, there is still a lot of money to be made. I find staggering if you look at e-games. E-games didn't exist three, four years ago. Today, the rights for e-game tournaments are sold for a single event in tens of millions of dollars. You know, kind of like you know, Syria, Premier League uh, type uh, type uh, levels. You have uh, operators like Twitch with 75,000 live channels at any one time. Uh, that you know, 1.8 billions in revenues. They didn't exist a century three years ago. The question remains: How far can OTT go? It's creating audience. It's creating new services. Uh, but in a way, it's doing what happened uh, when we moved from cinema to TV. Uh, with cinemas, uh, you only had relatively few productions that were done for cinema. Then when TV came about with different qualities, different, uh, different types of delivery, then there was an opportunity to think about services and contents in a different way. OTT does that. I, I think it's an interesting question. I, I think definitely there's going to be consolidation on the global level. So the global content, the big content, that's going to be uh, definitely uh, see uh, consolidation. Or you probably have more of these bigger players like Netflix and so on. I wouldn't be surprised if you had US operators starting to compete with Netflix and Amazon. It's creating a lot of dynamism. It's creating even more bottlenecking because, of course, more and more content that is pushed and more audience. But I think, in general, it's very good for the industry. So we're going to see a combination, I think, with consolidation on the global basis, but uh, uh, diversification on, on the more local, national levels.